lot of things have in common. <laughs> For example, massive new map murals just made in 2022 that cover entire wall surfaces. This is at the Tyler School of Art, Philadelphia Explained. The Coca-Cola logo. The Museum of Modern Art. detailed maps around the world um, of climate patterns, of traffic signals, of uh, airway patterns. Like this beautiful map of West Africa, we can notice. Oh, the New York City Ballet uh, windows. Um, hmm. Logos, so many logos. They are so hard to do. Yeah. Oh, what else? Shake Shack. What do all of these things have in common? These things have Paula Cher in common. Referred to as the titan of postmodern design, Paula Cher. So she is a powerhouse of a designer. Uh, she also did the CNN logo, logo, Citibank logo, Tiffany and Company logo. It just boggles the mind. In one interview, she said how she was obsessed with visual communication. She moved to New York in her early 20s with nothing like $60 and some art portfolios. Uh, she started working at Random House doing children's books for just a short time and then went to CBS, which uh, was or is Columbia Records now, and started doing album covers which she also won awards for. Okay, so at this point, Paula Cher is in her mid to late 30s and she is doing album covers. First for Columbia, then for Atlantic Records. So she is synthesizing the information, the feeling of a musical album into an album cover. But she doesn't want to get pigeonholed. She's getting kind of like stuck, um, kind of seeing that glass ceiling happening. So what does she do? She quits and starts her own design company um, and partners with one of her friends at the uh, school of design she worked for. Um, and she is blowing up. She's getting new clients. And then what happens? A recession as they do. So then she gets picked up by Pentagram, one of the world's biggest design companies, and continues to grow, working for companies like Coca-Cola, designing their logo, Window, basically so many massive companies that we've talked about, uh, while at the same time doing her own incredible uh, map artwork and I highly recommend like reading or watching any interviews by her. She's so inspiring because she talks about always pushing yourself, always growing. Um, and isn't really like ridiculous, right? She's like, do I have a work-life balance? Uh, maybe not because this is what I love to do. I spend a lot of time doing design because it is a passion of hers and she's really good at it. But she didn't used to be good at it, right? She talks about how much she sucked in art school. She's like, oh, I couldn't illustrate and I was always hurting myself with printing presses and the typography wasn't how I liked it. So she kind of reinvented it and created um, so many amazing things. So Paula Cher. She talks about quitting at CBS to start her own company and getting divorced at the same time in her 30s. Super inspiring, amazing. Paula Cher just blows my mind. She is, uh, known for her wonderful typography. Her own beautiful artwork, but then also super compact and smart logos that multinational billionaire corporations use. Um, Paula Cher has almost transformed like the New York landscape. Not only has she designed these, her work is in the MoMA. Right, we're even just like modern day when we look around and see the logos around it. New York's Highline Park revamp. Yeah, 
I was totally blown away because I was doing a project with maps. Just look at these maps. They're so cool by Paula Cher. And I was looking for, oh, wow, these are really cool maps. Somebody painted these. And then when you dive deep into Paula Cher, just boo. So yeah, let's uh, check out some of her amazing artwork. Thank you.